position that I've been on, you heard me? And the reason I've been on that is because when, when you lose semen, it, it affects you emotionally. Like, I haven't been as depressed lately. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. I still battle with depression, but I, I, I guess I channel that. You know? Hey. That's what's up. Uh, but I, I challenge people to look it up. Don't take my word for it. I don't like to be like a know-it-all. Mm -hmm. I just could tell you what worked for me, but it's called semen retention. It's when you don't ejaculate. You know, you can still evolve yourself in full play, and you can still have sex, but you you don't release. And it's something I challenge all men to do, because once you become a supreme being, you know, you don't ejaculate. You don't even have those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Until it's that woman that you... You know that you really love him. You heard me right. Hey, tonight is going down. Boulevard Nights. Guilty Confessions in the building. Kevin Gates is going to be doing Me and my boyfriend. We're like in an open relationship. We like to go out, have fun, hook up with other people, watch the other person with another person. Yeah, Vice versa. But lately, like, it's just been really hard for him, like, keeping his erection when it's just me and him being intimate. So it's like his dick won't stay hard as opposed to when he is like watching me do something with somebody or I'm watching him. So it's oh. like, I don't know, it's like... Oh, I know what it is. So do y'all have sex a lot? Mm, yeah. All right. Well, what it what it is is, is you know how if you do something every day, you kind of yeah. lose the excitement, it becomes mm -hmm. regular. It's really a be healthy for him also if he can start practicing semen retention like not masturbating and not having sex for maybe two weeks. So that means like every two weeks, y'all have sex, then go another two weeks and then have sex. And then what'll happen is with you and him as a couple, you'll begin to experience intimacy without sex. Yeah, okay. And, and once you discipline yourself like that, because I, I too had experienced that at one time, because I was just, this was in my younger years when I was maybe like, 15, 16, I just wanted to fuck, 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 fuck every day, all day. And it became like, it, it was almost like robotic. The passion wasn't there anymore. But I yeah, noticed I know. like when I would go a long time without doing it, then when I would have sex, it would be more passionate. I would keep an erection because I'm engaged. I'm completely engaged because it's not something that I do every day. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree with him because me as a man, um, I understand that cycle too, you know what I'm saying? This constantly having sex over and over and over and over and over again. It you know, it, it yeah. becomes it, it becomes this 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 nothing. Yeah, it sounds good. But blessings on your journey. All right. I like her. Being open with sex is just starting to be a be a normal thing now. At one time It was taboo. Look all the phone calls we getting about. Yeah, I had an open relationship. I'm gonna be honest, this something crazy, I'm just speaking for me. Yeah. Since I've been practicing like, like semen retention and really disciplining myself, I'm talking about me and my wife, very seldomly we even have oral sex with one another because we experience intimacy without sex. Just being in my presence, that woman is just a waterfall. Everything, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we experience a greater level of intimacy yeah. through depriving ourselves of sex. I didn't heard you talk about that a lot. But I never did, I never did try to do that. I never did, no, um, I'm thinking about, that's something that I might have to do. It's like I tell, I've been practicing semen retention for the last, I don't know how many years. I don't release no semen. And people tell me like, your skin- Wait, you don't? I don't release. My, I ain't to please my partner. After the woman come a million times, I'm done. Really? Yes, ma'am, but this is my life force, so. If we set the intention to have a child, then yeah. But most people don't know is when you release your semen, your bone marrow, your hair start thinning, you 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 age. This is our life force. That's this one of the what, best feelings ever, though. This will make what? What an orgasm? Mm-hmm. You can do it in where it stay inside your body. Once you train yourself, it, it stay in your body. So how do you train yourself for that? Discipline. It heal your central nervous system. Mm -hmm. It heal your brain. You don't have brain fog. And I tell a lot of men, stop watching porn. Because when you watch porn, it'll make you masturbate in the morning. Like say, you just masturbate or you masturbate just what you did. You just jacked off and 
shot your precious semen, your nut just nutted all in the sock. <laughs> you know, that's what you did. But I tell them, when you look at a woman, you're going to look at her objectively and you're giving off creep energy. And women could pick that up. So that's why your skin's so clear. I really practice semen retention now. Right. And I, I love the way it make me feel. I love the power and the energy that it give me. So in and and just practicing this, my masculinity is sacred because I'm not looking for this one and that one and this one and that one to, to to fuck. See, women are healers. The womb is very healing. Any woman can attest to this. If you went through a stress, a stress month before your cycle, I don't even like to call it period. I like to call it the moon because every woman's cycle is in sync with the moon. It may be the full moon, the waxing moon, new moon. It, it depends on what moon. Mm -hmm. But they 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 are healers. So what happens is, if if the household was stressed that month, her her moon gonna be heavy, heavy, heavy. She not just cleansing for herself. She cleansing all the energy for the wow. whole house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she already know what I've been doing. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the truth. And guess what? Her womb, when she in alignment with her womb. She could process it and her womb could forgive. Cause she may give me her body knowing I fuck something else. And what's gonna happen? Her pH level is gonna be off. I might ain't give her no disease, but this energy from this other woman gonna offset her pH levels. Mm. She could develop a, 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 a urinary tract infection because most urinary tract infections come from anger. From heart from harnessing anger, cause she was like, I knew I wasn't crazy. Cause you were you wasn't telling this woman the truth. Mm. So honesty is the best policy. So before we go any further and say, what you think about polygamy? No doubt. I'm going to just say this. I'm Muslim. Mm. Everybody that's Christian, that's Christian people, you go read all through your Bible. King Solomon was the most loved king by God. He had 300 wives and 700 concubines. 300. 700. That's a thousand bitches. Mm. And we'll go to war behind every one of them. He was the wisest, richest, strongest king ever lived. King Solomon. May peace be upon him. So I'm just, you know, if you, people that's Christian people want to live by the Bible, you know, don't just live by this part, live by all of it. Mm. So let me ask you this. I have a question. <laughs> What's the question? I got to answer. <laughs> about your, <laughs> um, okay, when you were just saying, like, how you don't release semen or whatever. Mm -mm. So when you have sex, you don't climax? No. Um. How does that work? Um, well, I start off, I can't give you my real recipe, but... I like okay. I like to, I piece. like to give massages. You know, I start with the feet because a woman walk on her feet all day. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm a I ain't gonna I'm a dog with eating pussy. But I I really like to I'm I really like to eat my woman ass. I like when she try to run, but cause I got a long tongue, so I like to go deep in her ass with that bitch. She running crazy. I'm a guy. So anyway, so anyway, yeah. foreplay. You know, I love foreplay. You know, right? You know, so that's what I love. So. Through foreplay and aiming to please my partner, I get off on her getting off. I want to make you come. Like, I love when I pay. I just came there. Like, don't tell me you can't. I want your body to lock up. I don't want to watch you run down my dick. That's just me. I feel like I did something because I brought right. you to a level of ecstasy I know you wouldn't experience it because you've been jammed up. Yeah, but then, but then if you, but, but if you're not releasing semen, aren't you jammed up? And no. Won't you, that's like. That's not true. That's my life force. It's going to go. It's going to recycle itself through my body. Now, I've had weird dreams before. If I have a weird dream, you know, that's my body releasing and recycling. But yeah. not on purpose. No. Okay. Now, if I uh, now if I want to manifest something, like with a woman, we can set our intentions and pray. Then I can let loose in her and we can manifest what it is we're trying to manifest because sex is healing. It's magical. Sexual right. energy is very healing. Like in the morning time, every man, you wake up and you want to beat that dick. I don't do that. I wake up and put that energy into making a good song, a great workout. I start replacing them habits with something else. Mm. Some mm. serpent fire, is that what they call it? Serpent fire or is it something else? I've heard plenty of different terms. I for call it. it sex transmutation. I just take okay. it's all energy. It's just right. on what you do with it. Right. I can sit in that bitch. I don't watch porn. I can sit in that bitch and hunt around drum something. But I did that when I was a kid. I want to do something different now. Yeah. Mm. So I do yoga. I stretch, you know, and a lot of times when... You know, your um, some I've been I've been practicing also is taking maca root because it detoxes the colon, mm -hmm. and 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 your pancreas and all of that it detoxes those things. A lot of the food that we eat, it have us clogged up to where we, we can't even get the proper erection that we supposed to get. So a lot of time when you want to jack your dick, that's because your prostate 
I, I said pancreas. I meant to say your prostate is clogged. Mm. And you, it's certain poses in yoga that you could do to unclog that and move that energy around the body. Mm. We sit still for all day. You know what I'm saying? We we still for all day. We don't we don't move our energy around. Mm. You have to move it around the body. Like that's like people who dance and they start dancing. They feel good when they dance because they moving their energy around. We have energy in our body that need to be moved around. Mm. And that's what I do. I move it all around my body and use it for what I need to use it for. You tap into it. It's called the chi. Um, I started learning about that through, well, what really got me into semen retention at first was I used to box. And we couldn't release any semen, you know, before fights and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I be so deadly when I'm not releasing no semen, making that sacrifice. So I put myself in that mindset again, but I started studying all the benefits from it. And I started looking at the benefits I'm having. Like, you know, my hair growing back in places that... You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. Is it like a healing energy too? Your life force is healing. Gotcha. When you put it in that woman's womb, even if she don't get pregnant, it's gonna heal her body. Y'all gonna recycle each other's energy if y'all equally yoked. Mm -hmm. But if we not in the line, yeah. That glow that you say you see, and that aura, that that, that presence that you feel mm -hmm. when I walk in the room. A lot of people are gonna talk against this, but this comes from semen retention and discipline. Mm -hmm. Like. If I wake up in the morning, they call it morning wood. Some men wake up, dick be hard. Mm -hmm. You know, you could choose to, you, it's a choice. You could choose to put a sock on your dick and beat it and, and shoot your precious life force in a, in a sock. Or you could choose to get up and put that energy into your workout. You could take your sexual cravings mm -hmm. and translate that energy into something else. And it shows. It shows mm -hmm. you can translate that energy like you can have se practice semen retention and something else that I've noticed since I've been on this journey. I've been practicing about maybe three and a half years. And it is times that I have wet dreams because when you anything that need to come out, you is going to come out. Mm -hmm. I have wet dreams. Don't watch porn at all. Don't even watch porn. Don't don't even feed that to your mind. I'm talking about. Put it into your music. The energy gonna be different. Everybody that meet me now say, man, your energy is so different now. Cause I'm translating it. Even when I'm around women, they tell me, you know what? You talk about a lot of sexual um related topics in your songs. I say, you know how? I say, because I abstain. And I put my cravings into the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I catch you, guess what? I'm not gonna play with you. But I don't get creep energy from you because I don't look at women objectively. Mm -hmm. This a I got a lot of you know I got a lot of female homegirls and they hear what you're saying and your and your and your and your, your music and there's no shade to her. No, no, no. But let, let me there's finish. There's no what I'm shade to her. You got to use your hands though. <laughs> oh, she used her hands. I don't know if you've seen the videos. With all due respect, there's no shade to her though. They right. got some monsters out here that ain't never write no book. But but I'm talking about I'm talking the part of when, when you like we were so hyped when we heard about her. So then I was trying to get in contact with her. Do girls be trying to reach out to you? They hear you you doing this, you doing that. Like I need to get this nigga number. Like I'm DMing and trying to. To be honest with you, where I'm at on my journey right now, I know this is gonna sound weird. This is gonna sound crazy. I really I don't view sex as people view sex. I don't, I don't even really like talking about it in a sense because it's not physical for me. It's spiritual for me. It, it's a connection. Okay, okay. You know, I pray before I have sex. That's real. And, okay, and okay. when I, I noticed, what made me kind of shy away from talking about it is because when I talked to women, it seemed like they was chasing after a fetish or they was seeking arousal or yeah. things of that nature and really wanted clout from those type of situations and conversations, but they don't understand, like, when you were God, this is spiritual unification. This is not no just, you know, in and out to put, you know, I'm beating up, you know, I'm beating up back in. This ain't just that. <laughs> you know, now we get excited sometimes, you know what I'm saying? If a, if a woman say I ain't in her stomach, she hating on me. But, <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was but, a superhero. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm oh, just saying, man. like, I shy away from those type of conversations because it's like, like sex is sacred to me. It's spiritual unification. Like I like, come on, like what man you meet that don't release? Right. What man have you met that don't release? That say, you know, my life force is so important to me that I don't release. So it's like whenever I would have a conversation with a woman about that, it's like she, ooh, you know, you you get you you seeking arousal. 
Are you seeking something that's going to make a wow factor from this? But this is my life. And it's not because I feel like I'm better than nobody. I know the power that it give me. Like, when you meet men, you can see, I meet men that, that, that release every day, all day, and they drained. They brain don't have the cognitive, the cognitive function that my brain has. It's real. They, it's just, they not as strong. I'm talking about emotionally, their emotions be in total disarray because you didn't spread your energy, spread yourself too thin with all these different women, mm -hmm. you know, and our semen contains consciousness. So you place your consciousness everywhere. Do you ever release or you just never release? You just if, if, if I need to release, your body going to do it automatically. Your body just going to release. That ain't like teasing you. It's like, oh, you probably so mentally. No, you be teasing what me. you do is, what you do is, it's called sexual transmutation. Like when I wake up with, they got something called morning wood. Yeah, like yeah, most yeah. Men, I don't just grab a sock and shoot it in a sock. I take that energy from that and jump straight out of bed and put it into my workout or put it into my music or put it into something. That it's in semen retention. My skin got to looking great. But I notice when I don't release, like say if I do have sex with a woman, I will have sex up until the point of release, but I hold back. And I notice that I'm stronger and everything. I'm mentally sharper and everything. Yeah. It's just like when a woman, after I give my life force to this woman, I don't have no energy. I'm draining. She getting up cooking and manifesting all the shit she want in her life. Like body, spirit, you take all of that so seriously. Yes, and, it, and it doesn't, it's not about material things, which you, you have them, you entertain them, but your that true comes. wealth is within. Yeah, that, that comes. Wealth is of the heart and of the mind, not of the pocket. That <laughs> shit comes. Just dropping anything crazy like gems. No, this gonna sound crazy, but not to you. Right. Anything I want right now, I could just manifest. Manifest it. Speak it into existence. It's just gonna come to. It's me. like really healing to your body. It's gonna sound crazy. It's semen retention, not releasing no semen. Like you can have, and it's beautiful. I, can, didn't I just say I was have, practicing abstinence? You can have New Year. You, you thought I was tripping? Nah, nah. That's nah. You need to have sex. You can have sex. But your intention, don't come. your intention should be to please your partner. And and don't and don't release no semen. If you feel like you about to release what heals my central nervous system, it's what heals my brain, it's what gives me energy, it's, it's what allows me to manifest the things that I want into my life through me practicing this art of semen retention. And I still engage in sex, but I retain. If I feel like I'm about to release, I stop.